And I know we haven't really got to show you guys a lot of the church because Sundays are kind of crazy and people are here and stuff. So David's here, we're just walking through, showing some things about the church and I thought you guys might like to see. Nothing, y'all. I'm so depressed. Um, basically, it is so frustrating to shop for plus size. He's feeling a lot better, if you can tell. He's running around like a crazy man. <laughs> Are you gonna go to church with me? Yeah! Okay. Hello, hello everybody, good morning. Welcome to another daily vlog. If you're new, I vlog every single day over here on my YouTube channel. We would love to have you join us for today. Hit that subscribe button if you want to get, you know, if you want us to show up, up, show up in your subscription feed, we would love that. But welcome to today. Today is Friday for us. David is off. Um, we've had kind of a lazy morning. We still had a kind of a rough night. Little man over here is feeling better. He's running around and playing, but when he lays down, he just coughs and coughs and coughs and um, is kind of like breathless. And so he was up several times in the night. And then as soon as he woke up this morning, he coughed and coughed and coughed because of all that stuff settling. And now he's happy and running around and playing. So what are you doing? Uh, so we are, it's now like 10 o'clock. We're getting ready to run out for a little while. Since David's home, we thought we'd get out of the house. I need to go to Sam's and get the kids more Zyrtec. And I saw the applesauce pouches were on sale and we always go through those. So I wanted to get some of those. And then there's a store that's like going out of business. It's like a decor, furniture kind of store. We just wanted to look in there, um, especially for the church. Oh, are you okay? Um, so we're going to go look there. I'm not sure what else we're going to do while we're out. I would like to get a couple of new shirts. I didn't realize. Oh, are you okay? Uh-oh. So I'll put that around our neck. Can you pick that up for me? I didn't realize how low on clothes I was <laughs> for the summer. I have several long sleeve shirts I've been wearing. And um, in terms of like casual shirts, I only have like t-shirts and then I have a couple of like dressier shirts. <clears throat> I don't know exactly what happened to all my clothes from last summer. So I don't know if I'll do that today with the, with them, but we'll see. Um, then we'll come home and get the kids home from school. And then Lucy has a birthday party tonight. I have a women's worship night at church. So I'm going to take Mark to that. Dave was going to take Nate and Lucy to the birthday party. And then when it's over, he's going to come get Mark so I can enjoy the worship night for free, which is great. Um, so I'll only have Mark at the worship thing for like 30 minutes. But we didn't really want him jumping around and stuff um, with him being like coughing so much and kind of out of breath as it is. So anyway, <laughs> I'm so ready for him to feel better. It's been a week and a couple days of him being sick. And I know, you know, viral things can take a couple weeks to kind of clear um, I do think he's feeling better than he was, but he's still not a hundred percent. So how are you feeling? I'm wet. Oh, you're wet. It's wet right there. I'm not sure why. I think some water got spilled. Mommy will get a towel and we'll wipe it up. So anyway, we're going to get out of the house for a little bit. Um, we're going to take you guys with us and show you whatever we exciting thing we decide to do. Um, dry it. Oh, that's here. Here, dry it with this. There you go. We'll see you guys back in a little bit. All right, guys, I'm sorry. I just realized the camera lighting on my settings have changed again. I keep realizing the footage looks terrible and then fixing it. So it's back to normal. I don't know how it keeps getting reset, but we're standing in our church and I know we haven't really got to show you guys a lot of the church because Sundays are kind of crazy and people are here and stuff. So David's here. We're just walking through showing some things about the church and I thought you guys might like to see. It is still a work in progress, um, especially the sanctuary is very old fashioned. All of it is going to be redone and exciting, um, but we want to show you guys some of the parts of the church. Okay, this is the sanctuary. Look at the beautiful wood roof. I love the ceiling in here. The, not getting touched. the ceiling isn't going to get touched. It's David, fine. David's going to kind of walk you guys through what we're going to do, but I want you to kind of see an overview of the room. Hey, everybody. Uh, 
Uh, so I'm also wearing red because this is our West Campus, <laughs> which is when red's our color. Um, <laughs> one thing we already did is we pulled out the old. Uh, there was like a that's a baptistry, and there was like an old picture mural yeah, thing in old, there. Uh, like children's looking picture mural. Yeah. So we pulled it out, and that's actually our our West logo. Yeah. So. It really, and we think it's going to look great there. I'm still not done with it yet. I got to tighten it up a little bit to make it look not as wrinkled. wrinkled. But, uh, that's so just, tell you know, us like what you're thinking in terms of this room. And then we'll room, walk you through the other part. This room, one of the first things we got to do is we got to pull off the wood paneling. Yeah. For a musician, wood is a sound reflector. You want to absorb the sound. You right. Want be not as loud. You want to be more controlling. So we're going to pull off as much of this wood paneling as we can. And, and thankfully, <laughs> hey, buddy, thankfully this wood is just stapled into the sheetrock. You don't think it's going to be too hard? Pull it off, we should see basically what we see around here. And all and then the all the around, all around the room is more wood paneling. Yeah. This was so like, this is what my home church looked like when I was growing up. Yeah. It was very popular back, what, in the 70s and 80s yeah. to have this like wood paneling. I, a little, you can have too much wood. Yeah, it looks a little much. I love the ceiling, but it's like, that looks like real wood. That, that wood, is real wood. Yeah. And so it's just like let's highlight the real. Yeah, are, that's 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 Arkansas Mississippi pine. That's beautiful. Here it is looking out. Yeah. Um. That's our sound booth back there. Yeah. So we're gonna walk you around and just show you real quick some little pieces of the church because I know everybody's been wanting to see. Absolutely. All right, you guys. This also hasn't been redone. This is the foyer. So you walk in over here, the front door. And um, this needs some TLC. It's kind of like a weird. This almost is the color of our house before we painted it. It's very similar. Um, and then there's a water fountain. There's a ladies' bathroom and a men's bathroom. They both need to be painted. And uh, well, I can kind of show y'all. They're wallpapered and just old-fashioned. So eventually, we'd love to, like, gut this and start over. But for now, um, I'm thinking, like, paint and some new decor. Although that Thomas Kincaid is beautiful. I don't know if it's very modern. Um, so we'll see. I feel like this painting's not too bad. It's kind of cute. And then the men's bathroom is very uh, terrible wallpaper too. No offense. I just, I don't know. I think the wallpaper dates it so bad. Like, look at that. It's kind of crazy. Are you okay over here? Um, I can. You're okay? And then when you walk this away, this is where all the construction's taking place. This is our fellowship hall. Look how much space we have. Lots of space. Lots of space. I'm just going to walk you guys through real quick. This is the kitchen. Also a lot of space in there. I'm not even sure like why there is so much space right here. It just seems like a lot of empty space. I don't know. Maybe you could have a smaller table or I don't know. I'm thinking, honey, we could turn this into like a cafe. <laughs> that would be cool because we have the bar. Yep. I'm starting to cough. We're getting dust in our lungs. It's probably not good for Mark. Um, the coffee, we might could start doing coffee soon because I bet that mm -hmm. coffee pot, we need to just start doing coffee. And then here's the kitchen. It just needs some love, some it's cleaning. It even has a dishwasher. I've never been, we've never had a church with a dishwasher. I have, but it's. I mean, yeah. our personal selves. Right. No, oh, yeah. Sure. <laughs> okay. Do we have one in Texas? I don't think, well, maybe, I don't know. I don't remember them having one. Okay, over here is the kids' room. Look how big this room is. So nice. Um, very echoey right now. The flooring is coming in this week, so we're so excited to get new flooring. So there is the kids' room, and this is the kids' boys' bathroom. It also needs to be painted. Uh, the girls' bathroom's around the corner. And I believe... I believe this is the nursery. David, is this the nursery? <coughs> yeah, that's what I thought. So this is the nursery. And a bunch of uh, our church family came in and wrote like scriptures and stuff on the floor before the flooring goes in. Okay, we need to get Mark out of here. He's coughing. This is, um, I think it's a classroom. Oh, preschool. I think this is going to be preschool room. Preschool. And then regular preschools right beside the kids. Okay, we gotta get Mark out of here. He's gotten all the dust ain't helping him. And then real quick, I'll show you guys the other side of the fellowship hall. 
Mark loves being here, but all the dust I think is not serving him well. Okay, so let me find the light. I know where the light switch is. So we're gonna do this together. Um, no idea where the light switch is. This is gonna be a hospitality room. This is a classroom. Just a classroom. Um, this is the special needs room. It's got tables and chairs right now. I'm sorry, the lights. There we go. Um, so just a nice little space right now. Nate's the only one that we have, but I imagine we'll have more. Another classroom. We're very blessed to have lots of different rooms. And then this is going to be the youth room. Make a little hangout for them. And this is another classroom. So I kind of wanted to just show y'all. We'll update as the flooring comes in. Um, as stuff gets painted and decor goes up. This is what they were going to use for the hospitality room. It used to be the old church office. But I think we're going to use this for storage and move the hospitality room to over here. Because this door goes right into the hospitality room. So as new people come in, they can go right in there and we can meet them. Yeah. So anyway, are you okay? Mm -hmm. We can get you. We just get him out. Yeah, that dust is awful. We've only been here for a few minutes and he's already coughing. So anyway, it's looking good. Yep, we're getting there. All right, you guys. So this just came in the mail. I have such bad cracked heels right now. And I've been sleeping with like heel balm and stuff on with socks and it's just not getting any better. And sometimes if I try something new, like it helps better. I don't know if it's just my imagination or what. But anyway, um, I ordered some things off of Amazon that had high reviews. So I thought I'd show you guys. These are heel socks. And I thought these would be great because I hate sleeping in socks. I have been doing it because I just hate the, I hate the cracked heels worse. But I thought... They say that these keep don't absorb like socks. Like they keep the cream on your heels. Um, so I'm going to try them. And I thought they wouldn't be as hot. Like my toes would be free. I don't know. And then this stuff had really good reviews too. This Dr. Scholl's Severe Cracked Heel Balm. So we're going to try that. They also have like really bad cuticles. And um, this is supposed to be really good for that. The soften them. And then I needed some more like little cuticle nippers um, just to make my feet pretty for summer because right now they are horrible. So anyway, there's my little haul. I also got some um, throw pillows in the mail and they're really cute. I'll show you guys those when I show you the living room. Um, but anyway, that's my little foot haul. <laughs> Hey guys. Okay. So we came home and I ate a quick, like late lunch, got Mark situated. And, um, now I'm going to go back out and look around for, oh, like I told y'all, I need a couple more casual shirts for summer. I have nothing besides like ratty t-shirts and then like dressy. Like I have nothing in between. I know I've shopped a lot lately. I need to rein it in, but I, me and David have it in our budget for like a couple hundred dollars total. So maybe like me a hundred dollars, him a hundred dollars just to get some summer shirts. I don't want to get too many cause you know, I'm hoping to lose some weight and all of that. But I, you know, you also have to dress for the body you have now and <laughs> you, you need to feel good in your, about yourself. And a lot of the shirts I have, even the dressy ones, they're short and I want some like longer more flattering shirts. I don't know. So I think I'm going to go to Kohl's and Old Navy, possibly Kato. I am very hit or miss with Kato because I have such a long like torso and like bigger chest. A lot of their shirts are too short um, and they're like too wide. It's like they're not, they don't fit me right. But anyway, David, it's nice that David's home on Friday so I can go do some of this stuff. Mark's having quiet time. Today, I have given him his inhaler like every four hours. I'm hoping just to keep doing that today so that he, he just keeps getting better. He's really starting to cough a lot. Like it's a very wet cough, which is good. I think he's coughing up a lot of stuff. Um, so I just want his lungs to be as free to do that as possible. Um, bless his heart. It has been such, he's, I will say like he is so much happier. He's playing, he's eating better, all of that. It's just, still a bad, bad cough. So, and he gets like coughing fits where he coughs a lot. So anyway, I've got my big Stanley cup here 
it's hot. I'm going to go see what I can find. I'll take you guys with me. For lunch, I have been loving this concoction. I've been doing roasted sweet potatoes. Like I cut them up and season them with whatever. Like I really love seasoning potatoes with like paprika and garlic and onion and salt and um, whatever I have. And then I roast them in the air fryer. And then so I do a little bit of sweet potatoes roasted and cottage cheese. I know that sounds so weird, but it's such like a filling little bowl. And I had some fruit on the side. It was so delicious. I've told you guys that I've been trying to just eat a little healthier, eat whole foods. Um, <clears throat> and also substitute meat when I want to with something that's not meat, like cottage cheese. I'm not a big meat eater. And so many times when I try to get healthy, I try, I overdo the meat and I hate what I'm eating. And so switching it out for cottage cheese, switching stuff out for nuts and nut butter and um, beans and stuff like that has been really helping me not go crazy with other stuff. So I feel really good. I am going to hit the road. I'll see you guys. I'll show you guys what I get. Well, Kohl's was a bust. Nothing like I was wanting it to be. Um, oh, it is hard to find shirts that fit me. All right. And that is one thing that I, you know, they say like non-scale victories. If I could go into a store and have things fit right, it would be like amazing. Oh, sorry. I have very curvy chest and body and I need length. There was nothing in there long enough. There was nothing in there that was flattering. Um, right across the street that way, there's a JCPenney. I haven't shopped in JCPenney in forever. But I think they have a pretty good plus size section. So I'm going to go there. Old Navy, I know, is going to have more really casual stuff. And I want something like in between. But I still may check there too. I didn't even... I was going to look for David. I didn't even look in there for him. I just left. But he's going to go shopping on his own. I just thought... If I could, sorry, I'm going to turn the air on, it's hot. If I could just see anything that was on sale, but their sales weren't that great. And I didn't see anything. So we're going to keep, we're going to keep moving forward, but it looks like it's about to storm. So that's always nice. Anyway, I'm going to keep trucking on y'all. Okay, I'm stopped. I'm not driving and I'm not going in there today, but do you guys see what this is? Can't really zoom in. Hold on. Mm, once upon a child. I'm so excited to have one of these again. Next time I go shopping for the kids, I'm starting there. Such good deals. And I don't know if you guys can see straight ahead of me what there is. There is a chicken salad chick. Ah, I'm so excited. Nothing, y'all. I'm so depressed. Um, basically, it is so frustrating to shop for plus size clothing because it, basically they're all tents. They're either flowery, bold tents, or they're like grandma clothes. No offense to grandmas, but I'm only 36. I don't want to wear like something that looks like a 70 year old should wear it. <sighs> Nothing, not one shirt in there. There was a couple I thought about maybe, but then I looked at the price. They were all like $47. They weren't on sale. I'm like, I'm not even trying that on. It didn't look like it was long enough anyway. I'm right next door to Target. I very rarely have good luck at Target with clothes. But I'm right here. So I'm going to go into Target. Um, I even thought about going to Walmart. Honestly, I've had good luck at Walmart with long sleeve stuff. So maybe. Um, still thinking about Old Navy too. I just feel like there is going to be more like athletic wear kind of I don't know I don't know y'all it sucks but I'd like to get a few new shirts <laughs> I might have to just do it online um but then it's hard because you don't get to try it on <sighs> I'm tired I'm tired of this so it's okay we're gonna keep pushing forward and see if what we can find if we don't find anything then it wasn't meant to be I don't know if the camera's doing these justice, but look at these pretty flowers. What are those, like buttercups outside of Target? So pretty. Well, you guys, I'm throwing in the towel. I found nothing. I shopped for over two hours, found nothing, so I'm very depressed. <laughs> Not really. It's okay. Um, I looked at, let's see, Kohl's, JCPenney's, Target, Walmart. Walmart had nothing. Like, literally, they had a couple of shirts that were like, so like Hawaiian print, like loud, 
not really my style and just went to Kato. Kato had a lot of cute stuff and this Kato is actually a really good one but every single thing I tried on like six or seven things every single thing fit me too wide so I need a bigger like if you've ever been to Kato they have like 14 in the plus size section they have like 14 16 16 8 or 8, 14 16 18 20 so 14 16 is like one size 18 20 is the other what is that noise hold on y'all something on my phone is playing um the I need the length of the 1820, but they're all too wide. And um, like I need the chest part of the 1820, but it's so like big everywhere else. It just hangs on me like really awkwardly. So even though there were some cute things in there, nothing fit right. So I'm giving up for today because I am exhausted. I did find David a couple shirts at Walmart. They actually are starting to carry like polo brand shirts and he wanted some like short sleeve button downs. So I found him a couple that he's going to try and see if he likes the way they fit and we can go back. They have a bunch more. Um, but I thought that was a good price. Like they had a button down polo brand shirts for $21. I thought that was a really good deal and they feel really, really soft. Um, but I'm just not having luck. Maybe another day I can go to Old Navy, although I'm not having high hopes. Usually their stuff that fits me where too. Or I could bite the bullet and go to Maurice's. I really like Maurice's, but it's kind of expensive. Or maybe I'll try... I hate buying stuff online because you can't try it on. But Or maybe I'll just spend all summer in t-shirts. So Tonight is the ladies' uh, worship night, which I'm excited about. But I have no idea what to wear. Everything fits me weird right now. Um, so I know it's not about that. <laughs> but I was hoping to find something I could wear tonight. But that's okay. There was one shirt in there that was really pretty. And I was like, if they have the lower size, I'm going to get it because I think it'll fit. They didn't have any. And the 1820 was so big. It looked like a tent, literally. So anyway, it is what it is. We'll see you guys back at home. We're going to get the kids. Lucy should be getting off the bus right now. Nate should be home soon. And then we're going to get them ready for the birthday party. It starts in like an hour and a half. Feed them a little quick snack. Let them have fun. I'm going to get Mark ready. Mark's taking a nap right now. David said he was sound asleep. So that's good. Anyway, I'll see y'all back later. Right, you guys, I got ready for church. I just went with the black shirt. You go, you can't go wrong with that. I did have a pop of color with my necklace. Um, sorry if you can hear the air fryer. I need to eat in like 10 minutes so we can leave. I've got zucchini roasting. I'm going to do like a Mediterranean bowl. Um, so I have lettuce, cucumber, and tomato. It has been a salad bowl. And I'm going to top it with some falafel and roasted zucchini. And then top it with some goddess dressing um but i need to eat that really quick i wanted to go ahead and eat so i don't have to eat after church because it's already six i don't like eating very late but i need it to like hurry up <laughs> because we have to be there really soon so um mark's ready the kids are having fun jumping up the trampoline park and uh, he's feeling a lot better if you can tell he's running around like a crazy man <laughs> are you gonna go to church with me yeah okay all right you guys sorry the light is that better worse I don't know um I always cry off my makeup at church I don't I don't know I have like this crying gene my mom has it too anytime I go to church I just cry <laughs> like the release it was so good it was so like just it was just like a worship night so it's just very intimate and relaxing and it was so nice and just when I think about how good God has been to our family we've been through a lot the last year the last few months we've been through a lot but God has been so faithful I mean you guys have seen it if you've watched the videos you have seen how God has provided and his hand has been on us every single step of the way from selling our house to getting a well getting a job selling our house being at this awesome church um you know, buying a house, the kids' school, even through all the sickness and no insurance and all of this stuff I'm trying to sort out. God has been so good. He's been so faithful. And I'm just so blown away by his goodness to our family, his faithfulness, which we know he promises to be faithful. But just walking in it and reflecting back after walking in it, I just am so blessed. So I'm about to run out of battery or my out of a story okay i had to delete some old footage because i was running out of memory on my card um so it is only like eight o'clock and the church is right by ross like literally 
I could have walked here. Um, I didn't walk here, but I could have. And so that's like the one place I thought mm, maybe I should check. So I'm going to go in here. David's like, I've got the kids. If you want to go walk around somewhere, I feel like I just wasted my day because I've been able to find nothing. For me, Ross is very hit or miss and I've never been in this one. So I'm going to see, um, but I'll meet you guys back at home. I'll let you know if I got anything. Um, I'm looking forward to just going to bed here soon. <laughs> I'm like sleeping in a little bit, hopefully, or at least just not having to get up for anything in the morning. We have no plans really tomorrow. Um, I want to get more housework done. Like I want to get rooms finished. Right now there are just so many that aren't finished and need to just be picked up and organized a little bit so that I can show you guys and just feel like things are happening. <laughs> Stop feeling like we're in the middle of a move, you know. So anyway, I'll see you guys back at home and let you know what I find. All right, guys, what do we think of this shirt? I kind of like it. It's very cute. I like the color. I like this one. Here's another shirt. Um, this just feels like really cheap material. I'm not loving this one as much. Just kind of basic, like, shirt. And it has this, like, weird tie down here, but... I like the color, but the material is just like really cheap. Okay, don't mind my pants because I don't want to take off my shoes. But look at this little dress. I kind of like it. I mean, anything um, on me because I have big boobs kind of goes out. And so I wish it was a little more cinched in. But I think this is really cute for summer. I don't normally wear white, but like with some cute sandals. I don't know, I'm kind of, kind of thinking about it. All right, I'm so sorry about my pants down there. I think this one's really cute too. Um, it's a little short, maybe not for normal people, but I just feel like it's a little short, but I could always wear leggings under it. It has like little birds. Um, the buttons are not pulling too bad, they're pulling a little bit, but I like the color a lot. I need some more. I know I said I needed shirts, but I really need um, more church dresses too. And I know it's not, it's probably not too short, but I would probably feel more comfortable in leggings. This is the only thing I hate about dresses. I would have to wear like a camisole under this because of how large the sleeves are. It kind of shows my bra. If my arms are down, it doesn't. But I like the, I like the fit. All right, you guys, this is the last one I have to try on. Um, I like the length of this better. I feel like if this line right here was a little lower, I don't know. I like this one, I think, a little better than the other one. It has, like, flower like detailing, which I like. Um, it's definitely a maybe because I wouldn't have to wear leggings under it. I like the blue color. I know you guys can't take me seriously with pants around my ankles, but I don't want to take off my shoes. So maybe. I think I'm going to do this one is $14.99. This one is $10.99. And this one is I don't know how much because I can't Let's see. Let's see how much it is. I can almost see it. Twelve ninety nine. Twelve ninety nine. That's such a good deal. I think with the right shoes, this would be really cute for the summer. What do y'all think? I have to point out that I wouldn't have to wear anything under this because the sleeves fit a little better. Okay, I found a couple more things, y'all. I like this black shirt. It's long. Do you see how long it is? It's got some white detail on the sleeves. The only thing I don't like is it has this like peekaboo thing, but I think I could tie it a little tighter. It's not too low. I like this one. This one, I don't know how much it is either. $10.99. Can't beat that. All right, y'all. This one's a little different but I think it's pretty flattering. 
I'm not sure. Um, I like how covered it is. It's a little loud, sort of, but I kind of like it. All right, it was crazy in there. It took me forever to check out, but they were so nice. Um, and I missed the downpour of rain we just had. Um, it like was like a downpour for like five minutes, and then it stopped. Um, I ended up getting shadows bad. The black shirt, the blue shirt, the blue dress with the flowers, and the white dress. So I'm very excited. Plus, I got a purse. I got a backpack purse. I'll have to show you guys that for 20 bucks and it looks really nice. I'm always with the kids wishing I had a backpack purse because like I never have enough hands. So that'll be really nice. Um, I'm going to run into home goods. They're open for another like half hour and they're right down the road. I'm looking for a fruit bowl for my kitchen. The one I have is not big enough for all the fruit that I'm using and fruit's like falling all over the place. I just have like a kitchen bowl, like one of my, um, like big like serving not even serving bowls like a big pasta bowl or something um so I'm gonna go see what I can find but I wanted to go ahead and end the vlog since I'm sure it is very long maybe I don't know and um I'm getting tired <laughs> so I'm very excited that I found stuff at Ross because Ross has really great prices and especially like if you're just wanting a few new pieces and you're not like a, the, the quality's not the best but like I said, I'm hoping to lose some weight. I'm hoping as I get healthier, you know, things will fit me better. So I don't want to invest a lot of money. And I think those are cute. Um, David just got all the kids to bed and texted me and said, stay out till midnight if you want. <laughs> like, it's not even nine o'clock and I'm about dead. <laughs> so I am going to go run to Home Goods. I'll show you guys my fruit bowl if I get one. I would like to get, they had one in there, which is what made me think of it. It was like a black wire kind of one, but I'm thinking like a colorful one might go great in my kitchen, but if not, maybe black is fine, but I wanted to look at Home Goods. So I'm going to go do that. Thank you guys for hanging out with me today. If you like the vlog, make sure you give it a big thumbs up. That didn't help at all. Leave me a comment down below. Please subscribe if you're new. We'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye. I've been trying my best for a while. Trying to please everyone who's around me. I've been putting on my fake smile. Even though I'm wasting time. I don't want